Maggie Lutton. How do you enjoy this festival so far? I enjoy it very much, having some drinks. <laughs> we have a very cool drink. So I sadly missed that gig because working. Because I had to work, sadly I missed that gig. Uh, it was good. It was good as far as I felt. And as far as I could see, look at the crowd and the reactions, I think we all had a good time. So, yeah, it was very good. Okay, um, do you prefer playing at festivals or at club shows? I have no preference, it's just totally different. Okay. Yeah, well, cool, um, let's speak about your band. Nightmare, and before you join them, they have a new singer. And do you maybe know why they decided to put a female singer now? Yeah, I, I think the main uh, idea was to go for something completely different and, and to make the comparison a little bit more complicated between male and a female singer. You know? so. I like it, I watched all of their older stuff, and I think it's now. Well, I can only embrace what you're saying, you know, because that's a bit of play and we want to... It's only the beginning of a very new chapter, I think, for Nightmare. And uh, we enjoy it very much. And how do you feel about being a singer in such a band who exists for a very long time? I feel good. <laughs> I feel home. I, I really feel like home and, and I was really excited. Expecting, or let's say, I was hoping for for nightmare to not nightmare, but a bit like nightmare to come into my life. I was waiting for nightmare. Oh. Uh, I really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And do you also listen to them before? Yeah, because we uh, we had the chance to uh, work on that one song on, on Burden of God. So we did uh, the Dominion Gates. And I was a guest singer, so I sang with the old singer the duet. And I really enjoyed working with the guys, so the feeling was very positive. And I guess that's how everything happened afterwards. Yeah. Cool. Um, you released your new album, this fall. That's right. Um, can you tell us something about it? Yes, that we're um, super satisfied with all the songs on it. There's not one single song that we like less. And um, yeah, tonight we, we played three new songs. With, um, Serpentine, that is a duet with Kelly and I'm coming her. And I really enjoy this one because I think our voice is super fit. I'm a big fan of, of the guy in many ways. And, um, and we also played a new song that just came out, the video clip came out two days ago, Icarus. So, the album, yeah, just I, I let that up to you guys, just check it out, listen, like, share, and we love it. <laughs> we will share it, of course. I sadly couldn't watch the video because we are on the road since today. So you didn't watch it yet? No. <laughs> okay. So. How um, is the story behind the video? Uh, we didn't really want to go for a story for the first clip. We, we prefer to be just there as a band with a new lineup. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but the decor is very cool. Right? <laughs> You'll see. And do you have spe uh, specific uh, topics to apply in your songs? Yes, in a way it's very personal kind of lyrics. And I think you can make up your own interpretation on every song you can have. Maybe you relate to it in your own way. So um, the topics are basically about life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and are you involved in the songwriting process? Yeah, very much. I'm, I'm super happy that they let me do it. That they gave me so much freedom, you know, so uh, I... Um, I, I worked a lot with Eve. Eve is a very good melodist. Mm -hmm. I'm very impressed. Uh, he's, you know, he was sending out some ideas like, like really quiet vocals <laughs> and stuff, and it sounds like, uh -huh. but in the end, I mean, it's really great. He has very awesome ideas. And also, um, I got coached by Kelly Sundown. I wanted to be coached, and so he, he totally pushed the the level of everything way further and that's what Nightmare also needed I think in the um, lyric wise 
to not be Frenchy, you know, because I'm French. I'm a French-speaking person, basically. And uh, yeah. Okay. Um, how do you choose the songs for the set list? How do we choose them? Just like, <laughs> and then no, I, I don't know. We just. Uh, <laughs> We, we just try to pick up old songs that we think fit also a little bit more to my voice and that the crowd is happy to hear. And then with the, the three songs now for the new album. Also, that's how we make the set list. We try to make it a little bit crescendo. <laughs> Come to an apotheos. Uh -huh. yeah. I just understand a few words in French. You know, a few words? A few words I understand, but yeah. So yeah. you are from Germany. Germany. I speak English and Deutsch. <laughs> like everyone? Yeah. <laughs> um, what did you do before you joined Nightmare? Uh, what did I do? I did a lot of different things and um, it really made me very strong, I think. Because it was kind of trials and failing from not being with the right people for a long time, but I have no regrets. I, I learned so much, and I'm still learning. So, so yeah, I did. I did a lot. I could write a book if you want. Maybe. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Maybe one day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, now the next one is a bad one, but we are a web scene dedicated to women and metal. What do you think about the expression "female fronted metal"? Uh, just female fronted metal. Just. That sentence? Yes, uh, just if I, someone say to you, uh, female fronted metal. I think it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I didn't expect it yet. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's awesome because we need to impose ourselves because we were just the same kick ass, you know? We just have, maybe we're a bit more pretty, don't <laughs> tell anyone. But I mean, it's all the same. We, we we have a passion for music. We're doing our thing, and and so yes, female fronted metal is kick-ass. Right? Yes, it is, of course. <laughs> if it wasn't, I wouldn't start a website about it. Right? That's right. I ex really expected another answer. Seriously. Like what? Do you like, like this uh, question? Do you want to redo the question? <laughs> no, no, of course not. I like okay. your answer, but I feared a lot today. I hate the phrase female fronted man. No, I think it's awesome. I think we, you know, we just flow, we go with the flow and do our thing. I make no difference between female fronted metal and male fronted metal. It's only F E, on, you know. <laughs> it's really a very tiny difference. We yeah, just have so two more letters. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> yes. Um, before you enter the stage, uh, do you follow on ritual? Oh yes, I do. I do a lot of breathing exercises, you know, to make sure because it's really sports with nightmare. So a lot of breathing exercises, a lot of all uh, these spaces and, and stretching, and but not too crazy, you know, and a little bit lip bubbles and trying to wake it up, you know, and a little bit of it like this. So um, yeah, that's my ritual. And I drink, usually I, I like to have like one beer or something just to chill out. But lots of water, it's very important to hydrate. So, <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. But beer is everything fine if you have It's beer. just, I mean, I, I think it's bullshit to be precious. I think you need to listen to your own body and and feel, feel it out, you know. If I'm too tired and I just won't drink at all. And, yeah. Like I did uh, yesterday in the evening, they had an after show party yeah. over there in the hotel where we all stay. And I said to me, no, you don't go there because if you go there, you will be drunk and then you can't work at the next day. Cheers. <laughs> so cheers. <laughs> um, so the next stage, uh, yeah. you know, the next question would be, do you also listen to metal in your free time? Of course I do. I love my course. Soul. It's not of course. <laughs> I, yes, I, I do. But I, I listen to a lot of music. I, I love music, so I'm not just listening to metal, and and that's why it reminds me that metal is awesome because I listen to other things, and then I'm like metal is really cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Yeah. Yes, that's true. It's like me if I go in a normal disco like this and I'm sitting there, can we please go home? Right. <laughs> and then I come home listening to Madeline. Yes, that's it. I just need that power, you know, it's that power. Right? Yes, right. <laughs> and do you listen also to bands with a female vocalist? Uh, it, it depends. Usually I'm very much more attracted to uh, female vocalists that are um, having like a, you know, that, that color, that tone that you can recognize. Yes. And, and it's a little bit tricky kind of subject because, how can I say, I really love every, you know, all these lyrical singers. I think it sounds beautiful, but the only thing that I, that I lack sometimes, and only a few, for me really stand out mm -hmm. and I won't cite them because I don't want to be that person that judge, you know, I have my own taste. But when you when you're singing lyrical and you can stand out with your own personality, I think you nail it and that's awesome. I'll just maybe Flor. <laughs> she's I think she's great. She is. Yeah. Of course she is. <laughs> yes. Um and the sure. last one. Uh, is there a question you would love to answer, but nobody ever asked you? <gasps> wow, why do you ask me this now? I would have totally thought about it. Oh, wait. Shit. Can you be, yes, can you please be creative and ask me something crazy? Creative? No. Yeah. Okay, you want something crazy? What's your shoe size? <laughs> okay. Do you want something crazy? Yes. <laughs> Come on here. There you go. 38 motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm, I'm a tiny girl, right? Yeah, like me. Yes. <laughs> right. The best. The yes. tiny girls. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to meet you. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Yes, it was. We had a good time. We had. And, uh, and I say hi to everyone that is watching, listening, and don't forget to uh, check check out the video clip and the album coming out. We all have to do on the twenty fifth of November. <laughs>